So in this video, I'm gonna share with you a couple of Canva tips and strategies you need to use right now to increase your production and start creating and selling your own products online. I'm gonna share that all with you coming up next. Welcome back to the video, my friends. You are new here. My name is Jade. On this channel, I do everything from how-to videos and step-by-step -step guides, teach you exactly how to create and sell your own digital products online. And so if you like content like this, consider subscribing to my channel. And at any time in today's video, you're getting value or encouragement, let me know by leaving a like on today's video and look at some other helpful resources and tips in my description box below if you want to go faster and further selling your own digital products online. So as always, my friends, let's jump into today's video so if you are new to selling digital products online i believe using canva is a great place to start and knowing little tips and, and tricks to add to your production quality and to help you create quicker i think is a great tool and asset to have when you are trying to create digital products online and so i want to share with you my digital invitation and again we're going to be learning how to really get some tips and some tricks down so we can do this a little bit faster and one of the first things i can tell you that if you are trying to create digital invites like this really having a, a curved uh theme or a curved word or curved sentences really brings the invitation now and really brings some quality there again a lot of people get stuck on this because they don't know how to kind of make that curve but simply go over to a font that you want to use say if i want to use this one here and i can go into the edit feature and i can go down to the curve tool and again if you see here i can curve my whole sentence my whole line the way that i want to and what is really helpful is that they give you these little numbers here to let you know how far you have gone from zero, right? From zero meaning straight. So going into effects and going to the curve and adding a little curve to your sentence really makes that stand out a little bit more. And it actually gives you a little more room to play with in regards to your digital invite. So the second trick that I like to use in regards to me creating these digital invites is I like to put a shadow on my word here. So look at this, what I have on top, right? Please join us. I have that in a different font, but if I want that to stand out a little bit more, I want to kind of bring attention to that. So one thing I do is I highlight the phrase I want to use. I go to effects and instead of me going to shadow, which is going to have that shadow type feature behind the text, I don't want to utilize that, right? I want to utilize the lift and what lift does, it gives the effect that the image is lifting off of the page. So again, I think this is very good to use if you want to bring attention to a word or a phrase you're using, and it gives that floating effect to your word. But again, I think this is very easy to do and really helpful to use if you are combining different fonts. Again, you want that font to stand out a little bit more, and the way you do that is using that lift effect feature. So one of the things I use every single time when I'm in Canva creating my digital products is I use the group tool. Now, this is very easy to do, but a lot of people miss out on why to use this so i want to deal with the why right so the reason why i want to use this is say if i really got my you know my font down my product uh alignment down i got everything lined up where i want it to be and i just want to move it all over to another section of my canvas or maybe to the bottom or to the right or maybe i want to spin the whole thing around trying to move those things individually every word every sentence every element might put things out of place when you're trying to move those things around so what i like to do is again i want to highlight everything that i want to group together and i just want to go up to the group feature but again i want to show you the, the why you want to use it say if you want to add more than one image here again i can make this larger and smaller so everything moves together and everything aligns the right way to the particular size that i'm using again if i want to rotate this notice how everything rotates at the same time and say if i want to copy and paste this i'll use Control c Control v and again, I'm able to get exactly the same thing on the other side of my canvas and notice it's all grouped together as well. And so again, the power of really using the group tool is to make sure everything is aligned the right way if I wanna move those things around my canvas and it helps with the overall process of me creating these digital invites. Again, I don't have to create this again from scratch. I don't have to find the font and type the things in all over again. I can just simply group and again, use this in a different way. And again, what is super helpful is say if I don't want to use this baby um, elephant anymore, I can ungroup here, find a new element, drag this over here, and as you can see, this really saved me time in regards to me creating these digital invites. Again, I can also group this back together, go to the tool here, group, and again, I can do the same thing, turn it, 
and move it over and let it align up the right way. And again, I know people know how to group, but again, I just want to show you why you want to group images. Again, it makes the whole process easier when you're trying to combine different elements or different sentences together. You want to make sure, again, you're not creating these things from scratch, but you're utilizing what you already have. So one of the tricks that I use is, is not something that people don't know, but again, I think most of this stuff is knowing how to use it and why to use it, and it's to duplicate. So I know a lot of people don't use duplicate, but I believe this is like that secret hidden tool if you know why to use it and when to use it. So say if I'm trying to create digital invites and I want to create a new one, well, this is what I see a lot of people do, right? They create a new page and guess what? They create everything from scratch. And if you're new to my channel, I teach you exactly why you don't want to create anything from scratch. You want to use what you already made and move that over to your next creation. So the way I'm able to make so many different digital products is I use the duplicate tool. So again, I want to make this in a different way. Maybe I don't want these baby uh, elephants to be on here, but I want to have a different overall theme to my digital invite. Well, I'm going to use this little button here, duplicate, and I just want to get all the stuff that I'm not going to use out. So say if I still want to use this, I want to align this up the right way. Again, make this the right size, change this element to something else. I already have everything I need on my new canvas. And now I can just add more things to this. So say if I want to add some balloons here, I can do that. Again, I'm gonna use the Control C and the Control V just to copy and paste that again. And as you can see, we have a whole new style to our birthday digital invitation. Again, I can do the same thing here if I want to create a different one. I can duplicate this, take these out, and maybe I just want to use a different element. Again, this is not like a hidden secret, but again, most of the tips and tricks are really maximized when you know why to use it and when you start learning when to use it. And again, if I want to create multiple products, if I'm selling things in a bundle, I want to know the trick of how to create different invitations quickly. And it's all about duplicating and not starting from scratch. Say if you want to use different banners like this, you can twist your element just like this, change the orientation. So if you notice, now I'm able to put this in my corner and this can be used in a totally unique way. So what I taught you in my other videos is to utilize what you already have and make sure you try to cover every corner of your digital invite. And so that's what I wanna do here. I wanna hit Control V. And then if you notice, I want this to come on the other side, but it's not lining up the right way. I can simply go in here and use that twisting tool one more time to have a different orientation. And again, I have everything lined up perfectly here. And as you can see, this digital invite is standing out extremely well. And one of the quick tips I can give to you is that whatever you do to the top, do to the bottom. So one of the ways you can do that is by highlighting both images and you can click on one, move to the other, hold down shift and click the next one. And if you notice, we highlighted both and now we can group them together. And so now that I have them grouped, I can utilize the power of copying and pasting this group that I have. So I want to do the same thing. Highlight this, hit Control C, Control V, and I use this every single time when I'm doing digital invites. And so I have a whole new copy and paste feature. And again, if you notice, this is not lining up well down here. So what can I do? I can go in here and use the flip tool. And now I can ungroup them and individually fix them the way I need to for my digital invite. And so again, you wanna utilize these tips and tricks the most effective way. Again, just knowing them is not gonna give you the power in how to use them and why to use them and when to use them. So this is the end of today's video, my friends. That was in a way helpful or encouraging. Let me know by leaving a comment down below. What is your best tip that you wanna start implementing right now? If you found this video helpful or encouraging, let me know by leaving a like on today's video. And if you wanna see more content like this, I release new content every single week, helping you create and sell your own digital products online. So as always, my friends, I will see you in the next video.